what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Knights of Horror Fact or Fiction. But before we get started, it's uh, it's like the Return of the Jedi, <laughs> but instead it's the Return of the Logan. At the Return of the Logan, yeah, man, it's been a little while since I've been on here. I don't. What was the What was the last thing that we did? Um, when I went to your house that one day and filmed like four when videos. I, oh, going over this <laughs> fucking. Yeah, that track. was the last time I think you were actually on the channel. Oh shit! That, uh, so like, but you've been busy, man. So it's like you, it's you do. I think you do more. Months yeah, you do more than no all of us. <laughs> yeah, November and December. Actually, uh, October through December were very busy. Surprisingly, with the pandemic going on, I just and I I'm typically the person that likes to keep busy. But man, it was just getting crazy. But January's here. Like Christmas is over. Recouping my money and just trying to <laughs> get through day to day. And yeah, man. So. Happy to be back on talking to you and giving you guys content. So yeah, man, it's it's good, and you know we'll see where where everything uh, goes for this year. Uh, maybe we'll have you on even way more now. But I'm again, you're a busy guy, man. You, I mean, you're in you're doing band rehearsals. Uh, sc uh, you were doing school, I think, at one point too. Still, yeah, are, that probably. that starts back up here in a couple of weeks, so yeah. I will be having that. But I um. In, you know, as far as band stuff goes yeah i'm rehearsing you know there's no shows going on right now unfortunately i know when that does start back up well my schedule will be even more even more screwy but as of right now i'm, I'm looking forward to putting some time away for doing these videos so. i am actually glad that you came on uh, for nights of horror factor fiction because I, I my my goal was to try to get the entire crew out of the way first because before i brought on guests and you were literally the last piece of the puzzle and here we oh. are <laughs> well, I, I'm I'm honored to be the last piece of the puzzle. Who is uh, let's say who is on top right now? Like, who's got the highest score for this for guessing everything? Uh, okay, you know? I filmed an episode that's not going to come out for another probably week or two, so I'll leave him out of it. Okay. But um, I think as far as people who've gotten them the most right, I think it was either between uh, Rob or Will. I don't remember. Okay. Maybe Sammy might have been on there too, and that's all right. So I just I just want to know where the competition's at. I gotta because as far as I'm concerned, everything's fiction. That's all. I'm, I'm gonna get that off. <laughs> so we don't have to do the show. That's, uh, that's yeah. the fiction. Well, <laughs> it's funny that you bring that up because today's topic is a little uh, controversial uh, to a lot of the uh, the world of of the unexplained. And today's topic: uh, how how are you with aliens? Oh, okay. So when I when I was saying everything's fiction, I, that was a very much of a joke. Like I'm a believer in in paranormal stuff, and right. uh, I'm I I do not believe we are the only planet that has life on it. And I don't. And you know, there's I'm not gonna sound like Tom DeLonge from Blink 182 right now about you know his you know I don't, you know his little alien stuff that he has going <laughs> on, uh, or has been going on for ages now, um, but. Uh, I don't get all super caught up in it. I am uh, very optimistic, and I'm a, I'm an open-minded person about that stuff. I, I could believe, I I I, I could believe something is uh, something is fact. So, uh, what do you got for me? All right. Well, that's good to hear because today we're talking about aliens. It's something that we really haven't touched too much on this show, and I want to explore other things outside of the paranormal. Uh, with aliens. A <laughs> aliens. <laughs> um, but. Yeah, we're going to look at uh, another per uh, person that, you know, we've been doing for the last, like, two or three weeks. Uh, and this guy makes compilations of, like, videos. It's, like, usually five videos. Uh, this one is uh, five, and he says they're all real. And I I've actually – I've watched through this, uh, and they look pretty damn solid. I don't know. There's no way to really explain it, how you fake this, especially because what the, the video is entitled, five uh, UFOs caught from a, inside of a plane. So, Wait, five UFOs inside of a plane? That have been caught on tape inside of a plane. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I'm excited for this one. I'm excited to see uh, what you think of these. So and so at this point, you know the answers, like, right? I, so I'm the only one. The host is the only one that knows everything. Gotcha. Um, okay. uh, to, to recap, but obviously. Do you, know, do, you, do you know the answers? Or is it like, do, do I mean, when you read the answers, this is like, has it been completely proven it's fact or fiction, or is this like, oh, it's most likely fact or fiction? I go into as much research as I can as okay. far as if these are real or not. And some of them, obviously, you can tell that looked either fake or, or, or real, but there's some that you just really can't explain and how they've done it. So I, do, uh, I, 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 
I, I, I, I'm, I'm sorry to cut you off. I'm ADD. Uh, if I, <laughs> if I don't, if, if I don't say something that I'm thinking, I'll forget it. So I apologize. Uh, but no, I think I was watching, uh, who I think was that, was it Rob's? No, it wasn't Rob's. It was, maybe it was, hmm, no, it was, it was the one where the stuff in the, in like the elementary school was like flying around and I thought it was real. Yeah, no, that actually turned out to be fiction. I read up a yeah, lot on so, that. So like I was convinced while that was going on that it was that it was real. Um, so I don't know. I maybe I'm gullible. So I'm 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 curious to see what my what my results are here. Rules of the show. Obviously, anyone who's new, uh, this is uh, Knights of Horror Factor Fiction. So I give my um, my guests five videos to look at, um, whether it's aliens, anything it could be anything paranormal, anything that's unexplained. Uh, and we look at it, see, determine whether it's fact or fiction. My guests do not know exactly what they're going to be watching unless they've seen it without me knowing prior knowledge, obviously. But I do not tell them what they're going to be watching. Logan, the videos I'm showing you today, you have never seen as far as you know. Okay. So you don't know anything. He's going in blind. Um, and so their job is to ter determine whether or not they are fact or fiction. Um, I do my research prior and when i say prior i mean literally the day before we film these or maybe the first couple hours before we film these i, I go ape shit on the internet and and comment section to see what people think and what people can explain of these videos um so we're gonna we'll do it the format we've been doing it uh i'm gonna explain i'm gonna set up the video what it's about and then we're gonna watch it together um but Obviously, we've changed that format since the first episode. Uh, we're just going to have you guys watch it, too. And then afterwards, we're going to talk about it. Logan's going to give his opinions about it. And we keep going until we're done. So, Logan, are you ready to determine whether it's not it's fact or fiction? Let's fucking do it. All right. Here we go. Here's the first video. This one comes. Okay. So, the, obviously, the guy I've been using the last, like, two or three weeks now is uh, Viral Dark 7. This guy, he goes around and kind of... Um, makes compilations of videos that are really unexplainable or paranormal or whatever, whatnot. Uh, and this one is top five real UFO sightings from a plane. So people are in the airplane. My connection is unstable. Um, am I coming through still good? Uh, you froze for a second, but it, it caught up. Okay. Uh, yeah, I was having internet problems last night, but it looks like it's, it's been running smooth. But anyway, uh, these are all people that are on airplanes flying from one destination to the other in midair, and these are your UFO sightings that they caught on camera on said plane. So this one is called UFO Filmed from Airplane Over Atlanta from the United States in 2013. So uh, we're going to play this first video. Again, like I said, there's five of these videos, so um, here we go. Here's video number one. Logan, video number one, three lights just floating in the air like that, man, and they just kind of move around, and then at the end, they just go down to the ground, obviously, it's looking like, and the lady's reaction at the end is pretty uh, interesting, because she doesn't even know what to explain of it. What, how do you, what do you explain of it? Okay, so I, I, I'm the kind of person, like, when I, you know, if if I walk into a haunted house, like I want to believe it's real. I want to believe that those were aliens. So I'm going to get that off my chest right off the bat. Um, my only concern about, or my, my only wonder about this um, is there were on, a, on an airplane, you've got multiple people on an airplane. So why wasn't there anybody else reacting to it? Um, why why are we aren't why aren't we seeing multiple people 
recording this from different angles. I would imagine if like this was a viral video, we might have different people recording from different angles and it would be spliced together as one video. Um, so I would actually, off the bat, I just looking at that for the first time, I, I, I would think it's fiction. Okay. Going I don't think it's fiction. fiction. Huh? Going with the fiction. I respect that. And I do agree with you on that, is the fact that if it is an airplane filled with people and majority of the time, if you're sitting on the window seat, people will like to look out and see the view. Totally. Um, and so I'm, su I'm surprised no one said anything or if there's multiple videos. There could be multiple videos out there, but since this is a compilation, I guess he just chose probably w what he thought was the best one. Um, but, yeah, I, I agree with this, man. This is definitely interesting. So you're going fiction for video number one. All right, video. So that was so that was the correct answer. Uh, you won't find that out to the very end of the. Oh, video. okay, okay. I'm just writing. I'm just jotting down your yeah. answers. Okay, so it's. Uh, so I know for. Here. Okay. So I have them for uh, the end. I'll reveal all answers at the end. The anticipation. Um, the patience, huh? So this is the next video right here. I'm gonna show it to you right now. It's entitled "UFO uh, Caught from Plane Again Over uh, Cambria." Somewhere in Australia, 2012. Um, this one is a little bit more interesting, uh, but these plain ones, now you got me thinking after doing all the research, is like, why isn't anyone reacting to them like right. this one person was? But Because uh, I can guarantee if I saw someone like that, I'd be like, fucking everybody, you yeah, know? <laughs> call everyone's attention. Or they're just so in shock, they don't understand what it is. But yeah. this is another one uh, filmed from Australia, um, and it's similar concept, man, but this one's a little bit more interesting. Let's take a look at uh, this next video right here. All right, so this one, it's just, it looks like a tiny little, it, I want to hear your thoughts. <laughs> okay, my thoughts. Um, no, that looks real. Um, that looks real. Is it a UFO? I don't, I don't know. Um, obviously, I don't know. But um, thinking what man-made machine, because airplanes are fast. Like, you don't feel it when you're on the airplane, but they're fast. Right. That's why we get places so fast when we're on an airplane, um, they're fast. So what man-made machine could beat that? I mean, and it didn't look like a jet. It didn't look like an, like an airplane. It didn't look like a jet. So it was something, a bird does not fly that fast. It would have to be a UFO or just alien aircraft. I, I, I could say fact. I could say fact, fact that that's the general consensus on that. Uh, or, you know, I, I don't know if it's, obviously you're gonna tell me at the end, but. Uh, I don't know if they're confirming like flying saucer. I wouldn't say flying saucer, but alien aircraft or just some sort of unknown, uh, not human made machine. Right. And that's, and that's the thing about aliens too, is like, I think everybody depicts them differently in films. So you're used to seeing the Holy. circular UFO, but oh. uh, evidence shown over the years, as far as UFOs go, that they come in all shapes and sizes and they look okay. different. Uh, whether it be lights floating around everywhere or whatever it is, but uh, I'm always been interested in and in how they can dip, how they look in reality. Obviously, they're not the 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 circle shape that we're used to seeing in film, but you know it's pretty interesting as it is. So you're going fact on that. All right, here we go. So the next video is uh, again out of a out of an airplane window, another UFO, uh, Massachusetts, United States, 2013. This was caught on camera. So let's take a look at this next video and tell me what you think.
Video number three, man. How do you even explain that, dude? That thing was hauling ass. There's so many factors that play in here. These are hard. These are hard. And I think compared to the paranormal ones, I think these are harder, especially because you're all getting, you're, you're getting them virtually from the same angle, just a person on a plane. Right. So it's like, I know some are going to be fake and some are going to be considered fact. So it's, I'm trying to go with my gut instinct on these. And my, in, my first instinct on that, after seeing it slow down and just after really contemplating, it could be a reflection coming from the glass. Um, that that's it, it, it could be a, a reflection coming from the glass like uh because if you notice there was another plane that was that was over there mm -hmm. i'm assuming uh, and it looks like also in in the reflection i could see heads in the reflection so the the heads of people right and somebody had their flash on like i don't know i for this one and i trust me like i said i i, I want to believe this stuff is real but for this one, my gut is telling me um, fiction. Fiction. A fiction on that. I, you know what? To take account of, of people being on a plane uh, with reflections, but I don't. Yeah, I mean the only. I mean, yeah, with light, it's kind of. I don't know. But that was moving. Really I, I might be wrong about this one. I'm. I'm curious to see. All right. So he's I going. Want an explanation if it's fact. He's going. Video number three is fiction. Um, all right, let's check out the video number four for you. Logan, video number four, what do you make of that? What do I make of that? Like I said, I'm a, over and over again. I'm a person that wants to believe these things. That didn't really give me much to not believe. Um, I, these are hard, man. Give me the paranormal ones next time. <laughs> I got they, you, man. These are These are hard. Um, I could say I could believe that. I'm going to go fact. I'm skeptical, but I'll, I'll go fact on that. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of things to take into account. Obviously, for me, when I watched that video for the first time, it looked like someone was walking. Uh, it looked like it was a head, and it just well, looked like someone was walking. But at first, I thought it was like a raindrop, and then I saw <laughs> it go into the clouds. Like, okay, it's not a raindrop. Okay, it's not a raindrop. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it looks like someone walking. It could be like an alien just taking a stroll through the clouds. Yeah, yeah don't. I mean, if you could do that, wouldn't you? Uh, yeah, I, <laughs> I mean, I don't know about you, but when I saw there was a, a adaptation of Peter Pan. And when I saw that film, when they were bouncing off the clouds and shit, I was used to think that's what. Could oh, really dude, I tried to, I tried to forget it all about that film. Thank you for reminding me of, <laughs> of 2005 Peter Pan or whatever the hell that was. You didn't like it? I uh, probably did when I was younger. I know I try to be Mr. Cool. Oh, Peter Pan. No, I, 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 I think I liked it when I was younger. All right, let's look at this final video. Uh, shot actually now. This one is outside of a plane. This was shot from the floor. Um, a Virgin plane taking off, you know, Virgin Airlines, obviously they're, they're known for, well, they were known for a little bit, but now they're just known really for planes, um, taking off and something follows it. I want to show you what I make, what do you make of this? Because I don't know what to make of it. <laughs> All right, Logan, final video, this little black whatever it was 
pretty much looking like it was taken off with the plane, man. How do you make of this? Fact, fact. fact. Because um, you, uh, my girlfriend's dad's a pilot. I've I've taken an airplane off. I've been to you know I've been to a, a plane hangar. I've, you know I've, I know the whole process, and you, especially in a non-military setting. You're not getting multiple planes taking off at the same time. That's not what happens. So my first thought originally was, well, is this a, is this a military bases or multiple taking off? No, 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 no. That that first of all, that was going way faster. You're not going to get a regular 747 and, and a jet taken off together. It's not what happened. So that was something that looked real. Someone put that together with you know putting the circle around the thing. Usually those are to me at least they get a lot of reception and a lot of speculation and usually a lot of the time I've seen that they come out, you know, fact, if you want to call it fact, or just the general consensus is that it's real. So I'm going to go along with that and say it's fact. All right, man. So that was five videos right there. I'm going to save you the time. Every video in that you saw tonight was fact. Really? Fact it was. I did my research on all these videos, uh, by, like I said, reading comments and doing the research I can that were available to my disposal um there's really no way anyone can explain any of these i mean there's there's stuff going hella fast there's stuff that just kind of appears out of nowhere these the the first video of the lights just going down and just kind of moving around that's usually your typical right there alien kind of caught on film stuff right there um you know usually when you typically see a lot of alien uh, ufo sightings caught on film uh it's usually with the lights and that first video is uh just Man. no one can explain that uh Again, I don't know about the reactions. I, I wasn't on the flight, so I, I can't say if I mean I was convinced it. that it was that it was Pennywise's deadlights, dude. Like that's yeah. what it looked like to me. Um and the video number two was uh let me go back and take a look really quick. I, I only got one fiction, right? Uh, you got two fiction. Oh did I? Oh damn it. It's okay. First time player, man. Uh video number two was of course the little white thing kind of zooming past the uh airplane really quick and then kind of disappearing on our eyes uh you got that one fact and that that's another thing that just really can't be explained it didn't look like a bird um birds don't really travel that fast it wasn't a jet because uh, it looked like way too small to be a jet uh and it was just this white literally this white thing that just zoomed past so that was uh nuts so so when they so when you say fact is it fact that it is an alien or is it fact that it's something that's unknown as far as UFOs, this is I'm gonna just say uh, unidentified flying object. Okay. So, okay. That's what that's what UFO does stand for. So we'll go with uh, unidentified flying objects. Uh, I don't know if there's any. Is there any sightings of actually people catching an actual alien on tape? Not an actual alien, but there's been some stuff popping up as in recent news that's getting like some main mainstream, mainstream media a attention. You know. So, yeah, that one was – and then, okay, now we have the one right here, the third video, which was the Massachusetts uh, fiction, obviously, with the uh, – showing up the jet and then that thing flying by really quick. Um, I looked into this one, and uh, it was interesting to me when you said it was fiction, uh, and you, you kind of really got into the ball of explaining. You see reflections and stuff. However, this thing is really bright. And this thing is going too fast of a pace to be any reflection. Yeah, that's uh, true. So, and it again wasn't a bird, wasn't anything else. I mean, we saw the one jet flying next to the plane, or if that was another plane, um, and that was going really slow. But this thing was zooming fast. So, this was indeed, of course, a fact. Video number four, obviously, was uh, the like head thing. We thought, well, well, we came down to determining it looked like a head, kind of walking through the clouds. Uh, again. Uh, this one is another unexplainable one. I just I looked into this a lot and read what people had to say about these. I like to read the comments because a lot of people will always have good discussions about these. Um, so the comments are not always fake for people. There's always good discussions if you actually go deep into the comments. Um, and a lot of people really agreed with this one. Like this was really something they couldn't really understand of how you can uh, – what it was or anything. I mean, like I said, it looks like to me someone walking through the clouds, but I mean – who knows what these uh, unidentified flying objects, man? They could just be anything. And of course, that last one, of course, of the plane taking off and then something zooming past it again. Thing was going really fast again. Didn't look like a bird. 
uh, and like you said, and you broke it down, there's no possible way of two planes taking off at the same time at an airport uh, unless it was like a military base. And even then, they kind of distance themselves as, as far as taking off. One takes oh. off, and then another takes off. So, yeah, man, all true today. I mean, unidentified flying objects have been around for a very long time, and they still continue to be popping up to this day. Like you said, news just broke today of UFO sightings and all this. So we just mm. got to keep our eye out. And much oh. like the uh, the saying goes in um, the X aliens. Files, well, aliens, but in the X Files, I want to believe. So congratulations, you got a fifty percent today. Three out of five. That's F man. <laughs> <laughs> Three out of five for Night's Horror Factor Fiction. So I'm looking forward to this right now. I'm I'm pretty much trying to see how the season finale will work but i eventually i think i want to for the season finale get the entire crew on you guys team up and i'll have a team effort to see what's factor fiction it's gonna I be like team, that idea. teamwork idea man it'll be a lot of fun and it'd probably be the first time the entire crew is on a zoom call together so that'd be fun <laughs> no come on we've been on not really? the, not the entire crew really most of the crew there's been always one left out whether it's you, it's always it's Sammy. Rob. He's always sleeping. It's always Sammy. Yeah, I mean, we saw him at knots. We know what he does. Thanks, Sammy. Um, but that is gonna do it today for Night's War Factor Fiction. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this series. We're gonna be continuing to do it until I believe. Oh man, I want to say it was like March or April is the season finale, uh, and then we're gonna start up Maze Treatment season two, which is gonna be a lot of fun. Which uh, we're looking maybe to get Connor to be. Uh, since he was the champ of last season, to be the guest uh, judge for this season. Absolutely, so, man. He did fun. great last season. He did. He he was he blew us out of the yeah. He blew our minds, man. But everybody for watch. Thank you for watching so much. Uh, we really appreciate uh, the time taking time out of your day to watch this. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button with that bell notification. Be aware every time we put up a new video. Like this video. Leave some comments down below. If you guys think these are all real, if you guys have arguments that they're fake, we'd love to hear them. Want to hear your theories about these videos? Um, also, we have social media at Knights of Horror on Twitter and at the Knights of Horror on Instagram. And currently, are working on a new uh, merch shop with T Public uh, to get you the all brand new merch. Uh, there's way more options now too, so I'm liking what I'm seeing so far, from like pillows to mugs, um, fucking refrigerator magnets. I don't know, are those still a thing? I, don't know, I mean, I oh, dude, I got I got magnets on my fridge. Hell yeah, hell yeah. So um, be on the lookout for that soon. I'm Anthony from the Knights of Horror. That's the I'm homie. Logan from the Knights of Horror. That's the homie Logan. He back. Uh, good to be back. Good back to for see the you, attack, brother. baby. Back for the attack. The return of the Logan. Um, <laughs> okay, I still can't get over that. <laughs> the Logan. Uh, <laughs> so stupid. We'll see you guys real soon. See you guys. Thanks.